Let's take a look at one of the other tickers this morning that we are closely watching, and that's Deckers. Now, the maker of Ugg boots and also Hoka sneakers is trading to the upside. Look at that. Gains of nearly 14 percent. The company moving on its earnings results, sprinting past expectations. Revenue spiking 25 percent. Their DTC, direct-to-consumer sales, jumping almost 29 percent. Deckers Outdoor also raising its fiscal year sales forecast to about $4 billion, with its CEO saying, quote, the strength of demand for our Hoka and UGG brands continue to drive exceptional performance during the quarter. And taking a look at some of these sales figures here, Diane, yeah. just in terms of where Hoka and where UGG Hoka's stands huge. right now. It's huge. UGG net sales are up 28% on a year-over-year -year basis, mm -hmm. 610 and a half million. You have Hoka net sales up 27%. Yeah. We talk a lot about the growth trajectory of these brands, the fact that it seems to remain at least resilient for now. Consumers willing to pay some of these higher they prices are. for these products. Obviously, Decker's in a position to really benefit from that trend. Indeed. And it's so funny. I remember once upon a time where you would occasionally see a pair of Hoka sneakers. Mm -hmm. Now they're everywhere. They're pretty ubiquitous at the moment. I mean, on my way here from our office, I saw someone, you know, and that's just not uncommon now. And when you think about how Hoka is compared to, say, Nike in terms of running shoes, I know we've talked about this, and, and even making a bet on the shares of, of Nike year-to-date, down 15%. When you look at Decker's year-to-date, uh, that stock is just surging, more than 40%. So if you started out this, the beginning of this year, making a bet on the company that is behind Hoka, that that's behind UGG, you're winning. If you made that bet on Nike thinking that they were going to continue to run this lane, you bet wrong. Yeah, and then when you take a look at the analyst uh, commentary coming out on this, Piper Sandler saying that the growth at UGG was the highlight of the quarter. Decker's raising its growth expectations on the brand to mid-single digit from low single digit. Also just viewing that she even believes that this is still conservative when you take into account the factors that are at play. The fact that we do see lower freight costs, favorable product mix at UGG, and also the higher mix, the DTC sales, uh, setting up the company for success here in this very important holiday quarter. Exactly. And then, of course, going ahead to 2024. That's what I was going to say. It may be on somebody's Christmas wish list. So <laughs> I think it bodes well for them.